They lost me, man. All right, dude, let me just tell you. Things come and go. Money comes and goes. Teachers come and go. Sometimes there's greater forces at work than we're aware of. You know what I mean? You just got to roll with those fucking punches. You know? Bobby Damn. Lee. Just got really deep on me there. You know, I get my philosophizer on every once in a while. Dropping gems. Love it. It is, it's Wednesday, um, so far since the last video we've kind of done really recovered, that's the first prom of the year, it's like going back to the gym for the first time in well, a really long time for me, but it does, you know when you go back to the gym for the first time, that, that day after you're just like, oh my god, what happened, that's exactly how it feels after the first prom every time, or every start to every year, so we, um, on Monday, we, we unloaded the trailers, kind of reloaded everything around, but I don't know how to explain this. I have a problem here, you know, let, let me, let me show you. So the problem that I have is that we had rented, our, our plan to rent, a bunch of chandeliers for an event this weekend. Um, once the contract came in, um, and I called the venue back, or the rental place back. So we, we called ahead of time to confirm that they had the chandeliers. We showed the chandeliers to our clients, um, confirmed the rental price, all that fun stuff. Got Buddy back there barking. So anyhow, so once the contract was signed, we had deposits, money was in the bank, we were going to go and start calling all the rental companies to reserve everything that we had needed to rent for that event. So when I called them back, come to find out they will not rent me into chandeliers unless I rent a tent from them. And they would not budge unless I was to pay their guys to physically come out, install, blah, 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 the chandeliers, which you can imagine would be very pricey. So, we're now the proud owner of six chandeliers that I have no idea what we're going to use or do with after this event. So, the chandeliers showed up uh, yesterday, and they're going to be fun because they showed up in boxes with the tagline, some assembly required. I don't think it's going to be that difficult. I'm sure these instructions really aren't helpful at all. I'm sure I'm going to have to just have to configure it out myself. But we just got to take all this out and get it all assembled and wired and ready to go for this Friday's install. You see, they're doing a Great Gatsby uh, theme. So to go along with the luxurious Gatsby kind of... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, environment. We have six of these chandeliers that are going to be installed and hung throughout the room. Oh, one last thing. I really hate styrofoam. And I hate the mess that styrofoam leaves behind. Like, it is just... I hate it. It's all over me. It's all over this stuff. It's all over my shoes. I do not like styrofoam. So guys, it's Thursday. The, uh, we're going to load in for the event on uh, Saturday tomorrow. Do some uh, as much as we can now at this point. Prom is stressful. I, I think I, I started talking about this in the video last week, and I, I never put the clip in there talking about what prom means to me. And, and uh, part of the clip was I, I talked about how I love the prom tour, how the prom tours are highly you know beneficial to me and my family to provide a roof over our heads. Um, and to let me do what we what I do for a living and what we do for a living. Um, but the part I don't like about the prom season is the stress. There's a, so much stress for any of you guys that do productions. I mean, even if, you know, the younger or the smaller production companies that aren't on the big scale with huge amounts of, you know, support. It's really, you know, just you kind of balancing and juggling everything. You know how much just inner turmoil and stress goes into the events. So, the event this weekend has chandeliers, which is great. Chandeliers look awesome. I talk, told you about this in the video earlier this week. But, you know, when, when we got kind of screwed by the rental company, um, they wouldn't rent to us unless we got a tent from them. I had no other option but to buy the chandeliers. Now, chandeliers are nice. They suck putting together. They're not like string lights where you just put in a bulb. It's, you are literally building them from scratch. 
So it pretty much just starts out with just this main middle part. And these six arms aren't that bad because all they are is a nut and a bolt that kind of just gets threaded on. But still then, the it's still definitely a pain in the butt, but then it comes into the wiring. And they're, I think they're like 22 gauge cable, which are, they're so tiny and thin and, and you know, frail to begin with. I mean, I, my personal preference is 18 gauge at the minimum. Um, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. uh, Tracy gave me a look like something just happened. And they're just, it's just a pain to wire. They're just, the, the cables break and they're not the, high, the highest end chandeliers, but again, more than likely, they're going to be a one-time use chandeliers, and they're going Maybe to Craigslist, or they're going to go be donated to somebody or something. But they're they're paying. So we're building them. I had to go and buy a bunch of cabling and stuff today to finish them up, and then I they realized don't give you all the cables. no, they don't give you all the cables. I mean, it's just it's a raw chandelier. Chandeliers really aren't meant to be plugged into the wall. They're mainly set up to be wired into a pre pre set up electrical outlet in the ceiling um, but because we're gonna have to plug them into a rig I've had to you know make cables for them and make um, the male Edison ends for them and so on so if that wasn't enough stress to begin with we decided that we're going to use our chain hoist this weekend uh, we have manual chain hoist they work great for doing basic setups you know when we need more than you know four motors really honestly we need more than two motors you know the the, the all electric lifts with the power distro just kind of works better for us and, and nine times out of ten it just it's easier so we decided because we hadn't heard back from the, the other rental company apparently you know I, I pay all my bills on time I have great relationships with these rental companies but this event has just been pain with rentals that's why I really don't like running this is why I prefer to buy as much as I can but then I usually don't like I don't use a lot of it to get the to get a good ROI you know most of the time we make our money back but then we just don't ever use it that much um, so I, I've never really wanted to buy chain motors and the reason being is that there's a whole new level of maintenance and stuff with chain motors rewind to the weekend before we were planning on using two of our manual chain hoists which I've never used we've just we've had them again we bought them for something and we've, we've just they sat in a box. We never ended up, ended up using them. So I said, hey, you know, instead of wasting money on rentals, why don't we try to use what we have and use the manual chain hoist? So for this weekend, we decided that we're going to use the manual chain hoist instead of renting. We had two. We had to order two more. I'm not going to put this company on blast yet, but if I do not get my chain motors in time, our chain hoist, I am going to put this company on blast. Because when I ordered these two additional chain hoists on Monday, I said, I do not care what it takes. I need them by Thursday night. I'll pay for expedited shipping. I don't care if, if we have to pay for additional shipping. I'm fine with that. I just need them by Thursday. Plain. Let's cut. It doesn't mean let's go with the cheapest option because, you know, ground could be, they're supposed to be there on Thursday. But if not, you really don't have any guarantee. I wanted to pay the extra money to get them here to me by Thursday. Today's Thursday. Guess what I don't have? Chain hoist. Pisses me off. The, it just irks me. And so when I called the company today to find out where my chain hoist are, well, it must be a FedEx issue. Well, the problem is when I put the tracking number in on FedEx, it shows me an estimated delivery date of today, but it shows me that the label has been made. There's been no updates on FedEx's tracking at all. So here I am, less than 24 hours before we got to go rig, and I don't have chain hoist. I can dead hang everything, and this is going to be probably what we're going to have to do. I'm probably going to have to take two chain hoist to be able to lift the circle up into the air with using my Sumner lifts as the other two supports. Once they get up in the air, take the scissor lift and go dead hang the, the rig. But it pisses me off. And then... You know, I said, look, why don't we plan ahead? Why don't you, if it comes out to be somehow FedEx really does in fact have these chain hoists, why don't we go ahead and order two more tomorrow and get me a Saturday morning shipping? Because I need these hoists. Well, his response was, well, who's going to pay for Saturday shipping? I do not care. I, honestly, I think it needs to either be the, the company we bought it through or the, per the company that it was dropshipped from. I don't feel like this is my problem. 
I've already explained that I was willing to pay the additional money to get it to me here by for today. But I was willing to pay that money on Monday when it was, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days shipping or three day air versus shipping at ground and crossing our fingers. Now, I don't want to pay for Saturday delivery because you know damn well Saturday delivery on about 100 pounds worth of stuff is going to be probably 300 bucks, 200 bucks, who knows. So yeah, this is my rant. This is this is what stresses me the f out about prom tours. I love them. I love prom tours. I love what we do. I love my crew. I love the people we work with. And I love working with the students. But the stress, it's going to kill me. I'm assuming you guys can see me because I can't see the screen. It's too bright. We are getting loaded up. We got the, the rigs. I got to take two trailers yet again. I swear I need a bigger trailer. Bigger trailers make my life a lot easier sometimes. But fortunately, this school is literally across the street from my house. So... It's like five minutes so I'm supposed to be there. Oh, by the way, I still do not have my uh, my chain hoist that I need. But the company did say that they are going to overnight me up here tomorrow. Well, today, be here tomorrow. So we'll see. I'm glad I checked because nothing is strapped up. That would have sucked. Okay, it's all it's all strapped in now. All right, I'm running a little bit late, but I'm headed to the venue now. I know one of the three guys are there for loading, but I guess they can't do anything without me. So I tell you, each prom season I talk about how I'm going to lose weight, but. Every year doesn't seem to happen, but they tell you what, being overweight doing this is not fun, but I'm the only one to blame for that. All right, so we're headed to Kettle Run's prom. We're going to set up tonight, then we'll go back tomorrow to uh, finish up everything and hopefully have my two chain hoists that I'm missing. But I'm telling you, everything comes down to the damn wire. It is just, it's stress. But you know what? I'd rather have this kind of stress than be working behind a desk doing a 9 to 5. I love what I do. There's no sarcasm. I truly love everything that we do as a company. Alright, now we're here. That's how close the school is. So if we need anything, it is seriously a short ride back to the house. I'm going to go back the trailer up. What's going on my friends? We're at Kettle Run High School for their 2016 prom and my battery is low. I got to change this battery out. So you guys just hold on one second. Be right back. There we go. Fresh battery. We're good to go. So let me go put this screwdriver away and I'll show you what we got going on here. First off, I want to point out my man Igor got a fresh haircut. Got a fresh shave. So here's what we have going on. Let me show you. So these four totems here, one, two, three, four, they're going to go outside on the other side of that tent out there. And we're going to put the five R's outside and the five R's are going to act as um, skylights. Now, pan around inside, we have six chandeliers, two on each side of the rig and then two on the physical rig itself. And for the rig itself, we use manual chain hoist today. That chain hoist and that one over there is the one that I've been waiting on that's caused all the issues, but they came in, we made it work. What we have is our 16 foot circle. My wife's hands hurt. We got our 16 foot circle of Global Trust here with Q-Spot 260s all around and our LED wash movers, as well as um, American DJs, Mega QAs inside for truss warmers. Then on the inside, we have, I don't know what these, are, these guys are. So these look like they're just the cob cannons. So these are just the strobe lights. Um, they're the 100 watt LED strobe com chip on board. And then up top we have the UV 100 watt uh, COB also chip on board um, fixtures.
And then we have the two additional chandeliers there with a chain running up to a shackle on a beam clamp. And then for sound today, we're going to use two of the Yorkville uh, LS801 PBs. We have our facade set up, which will also glow with some uplighting that's going to go around the room. And then for the for the main speakers, we're going to use the QSC KLAs. We also have our lounge furniture. Let's go take a look at that. Um, so what I would like is the one couch, the one with the arm. Yes. To start about right here. Okay. Maybe about right here. Yep. Work your way over. And that last piece, that fourth piece that goes on, instead of curving in, why don't we just curve it out? You guys want to say what's up to the vlog? No. Do you, like, you hate this part? Yeah. It's better than last weekend, though. We'll see. What do you mean? I can lower this rig down for you. Oh, yeah, that part's better. Yes. B? What up? Ready to break up yet? <laughs> break down? You know what? You can't vlog me at freaking 1 o'clock in the morning when I've been up all day, right? Break down, all right? We break down the stuff. Sarah, we're not breaking up. I love you. Hey, got with it. Hey, do you want, you, want, you want to put a message in here for Sarah? Sarah, we're not breaking up. Love you. Love you want to propose to her on camera right now? I don't got any ring pops on me, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> school we're about to tear down it's blurry as shit they're gonna give away a car they raffle out a car every year it's almost 5 a.m. I'm beat we're all beat they're trying to give away the car but you gotta be present to play.
Ha, 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 ha.